So speed and toughness is coming to Rogue Company Season 6. And I'm going to explain exactly what that is. Now, let's start off with our boy Anvil. He has a speed of 1 which means that he has a 5% movement reduction on baseline. However, Anvil has a toughness of 5, which means that he gets a damage reduction of 15%. So Anvil is going to be super strong for defending, especially with his legendary 75 armor. It wouldn't surprise me if a lot of defending teams picked Anvil. Now moving over to Cannon. Now Cannon actually has 2 out of 5 speed, which means that his speed is unaffected. It's at baseline. However, he also has a 5 star toughness, but he, like Anvil, will also get a 15% damage reduction. Now moving over to Shaq. Shaq has a 2 out of 5 star speed, which means that his speed is at baseline. Interestingly, his toughness is the same as Anvil and Cannon at 5, which also means he is going to get a 15% damage reduction, which sounds like it could be an interesting rogue to send in first. 15% damage reduction, plus overheal, plus flashbangs, I think you're almost guaranteed a pick. Now, my darling Dahlia, she gets three stars for speed, which means she gets a 5% increase on movement. And her toughness is also free, which means she gets a 5% damage reduction. Love you, Dahlia. Now, the rudeness, trudeness, cowboy around. He also gets a three star for speed, which gives him a 5% movement increase. And he also gets a three star out of five star for toughness, which means he gets a 5% damage reduction. Now, onto Dima. He has two star speed, which means it's at baseline. But he does have a four out of five star toughness, which means he will get a 10% damage reduction. Now, onto Glitch. He has a four star speed, which means he will be able to move 10% faster. And he also has a 3 out of 5 star toughness which means he will also be able to tank damage by 5%. Glimpse will get a 10% movement increase whilst her toughness remains 2 out of 5 at baseline. Kestrel gets a 5% increase on movement and her toughness is 2 out of 5 which means it's at baseline. Now Lancer, of course her speed is 5 out of 5 which means she gets a 15% increase on movement and she isn't the only rogue with this and we'll cover them a bit later on. But as a result, her toughness is 1 out of 5, which means she takes 5% more damage than those at baseline or higher. Makes her a little bit more squishy. We are on the road to 10k subs. And I can only get there if half of you that are not subscribed, press that red button for me down below. Come on, help a brother out. Now let's continue with the video. Now on to our favorite Scottish rogue. His speed is at 2, which means it's at baseline. But his toughness is at 4 which means he gets a 10% damage reduction. Now, Phantom has a speed of 4, which means she can move 10% faster than baseline, but her toughness remains at 2, which makes her 5% more prone to damage than her counterpart, Fixer. Also, a free tip with Phantom, she has Gunsmith, which means if your favorite gun is the tire, you can actually get free bullets in that with Phantom with Weapon Mastery without playing Fixer and paying for the legendary perk. You're welcome. Ronan is another well-rounded rogue. She has 5% increase on movement and also a 5% damage reduction on toughness. Runway's speed remains at baseline, whilst her toughness grants her 5% extra damage reduction. Now, Saint in Season 6 is going to be pretty cracked. As you know, you can stack some of his perks, which means you can res people really fast. And we'll cover that in a video tomorrow. However, Saint's speed is at baseline. And his toughness is at 4, which grants him a 10% damage reduction. Scorch has baseline speed at 2, whilst her toughness is at 3, which grants her 5% damage reduction. Now, Seeker has a speed of 5, which makes him just as quick as Lancer. However, the downside to this, he also has a toughness of 1 which means, like Lancer, he takes 5% more damage. Interesting. Sigrid has a speed of 4, which means she can move 10% faster, and a toughness of 3, which means she gets a 5% damage reduction. That, paired with the giant's shield, is going to make her very, very strong. Now, Switchblade has a 4 speed, which means she gets a 10% movement increase. But like Lancer and Seeker, she also takes 5% more damage, which means with this update, Lancer, Seeker, and Switchblade are going to take 5% more damage than any other rogue. Now, Talon also has a movement speed of 5 like Lancer and Seeker, but unlike both of those, his toughness is actually 2, which means he isn't as squishy. Now, Fixer has a 5% increased movement speed, but also a 5% damage reduction. Now, moving over to Trench, he has a baseline movement speed, 
but he is getting a 10% damage reduction. Again, like Anvil, I think Trench is going to be a very strong defending rogue. Umbra has a speed increase of 10% and his toughness remains at baseline. Now, lastly, but not least, we have Vi. Vi has an increased movement speed of 10% and her toughness remains at baseline. Now, I hope this video has helped you understand the toughness and speed aspects of each rogue. And tomorrow, I will be doing a special video around perks. But if you haven't yet seen the battle pass, then be sure to check this video out here. But until the next one, take it easy. Peace!